Hey guys, my name is Iman, or Dancing in Circles. I do pole, aerial hoop, and lollipop lira tutorials on this channel, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss them. Um, I got a request for the Russian split on lollipop lira, so I'll be covering the pole version in this tutorial today. This is an advanced pole trick. Um, it is a little bit easier on your lollipop lira, but keep that in mind when you're training. Always train with a buddy and be safe. And without further ado, let's get into it. Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be covering our Russian split on the lollipop lira. I got a request for this one. Um, I'm going to be covering it on the pole, but there's of course a way to do this inside of the hoop as well. So I'm going to be covering the pole version today and then maybe I'll cover the hoop version later if this gets like a good response. Um, so if you watched my seven different entries to get into your lollipop lira, we're going to be using the Reiko split mount to get into position for your Russian split. So I'll talk about that first and then um, we'll go over into the Russian split. So for this one, um, I'm going to be bringing my foot onto the pole. If my right hand is grabbing onto the hoop first, then that means my left foot is going to go on the pole and vice versa. So I like to reach up with my right hand first and then my left hand is going to be stacked underneath. From here I'm going to bring my left foot onto the pole and what I'm doing is I'm bringing my foot at a diagonal. So the pole is at the arch of my foot and my toes are over to one side and my heel is over to the opposite side of the pole, if that makes sense. So from there what I'm going to do so I'm going to bring my foot on the pole and then notice that I'm not like bringing my foot too high where I have to hike up my hip or too low. So I'm bringing it so that my leg is parallel to the ground. From here I'm going to lock that knee and push into the pole and at the same time I'm going to bend my elbows and pull up. So this is kind of your first step. From there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my free leg that's dropped down and I'm going to bend it. I'm going to rest it on the top tricep and then I'm going to lean away from that top leg and I'm going to land in um, a straddle position but with my foot on the pole, essentially. So, we'll set up. From here, I'm gonna bring this free leg onto the tricep and lean away. And then I kind of pivot on my bottom foot to land in the straddle position. From here, I'm going to hook above the hands with that free leg. I can take this top hand and grab above the knee and take the bottom hand off and I'll end up in a cupid position. From here though, what I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna dive down. So this free hand is going to reach around the leg and I'm going to trap it. And then I'm going to grab the hoop, thumb up, this uh, hand that's above the knee, is going to be stacked directly on top of that hand. From here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sneak this leg out of the hoop. So I'm gonna unhook it. You can come into a little straddle position first to see if you're comfortable. From here, I'm going to split. So I'm going to take that leg and send it back behind me. I'm going to engage my shoulders, maybe look at the pole. And this is your Russian split. So to get out of it, I'm going to bring this free leg back into that straddle position rehook inside of the hoop and then I can reach up, come through my cupid to get out. I'm going to pull up to pull the knee out and descend with control. Mm -hmm. 